If you're going to stay, please take your seats. The meeting is now back in session. Should have put a disclaimer about the website to stay for to be in tune. <laughs> Moving on, item 6B. Consideration for replacement of city website and domain name. Administrator Chansky. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. <coughs> um, so yes, communications is something we have been working on. And when uh, Assistant Minister Ike started with the city in September, something I had him start working on was looking at, communi looking at our communications, uh, ways we can improve, looking at our social media and our website. And um, something we uh, rather shockingly found out is that our website is, not, is no longer supported. Um, our website had been through a, or is, is through a company that had been called Gov Office, now called Gitalis. And um, when they were contacted, Daniel contacted them um, to try to get some information on how to do some things, they said, well, you can't do that because your, your website is, uh, is legacy, aka it's no longer supported. They host the website, but essentially they're not providing any support for it. And apparently it's been that way for at least three years. And at this point where we're at is they will continue to host our website until they choose to stop. Um, when they choose to stop, uh, we've asked them. They don't really know when that will happen, uh, but it could happen at any time. And when that happens, we'll probably be given very short notice to what time that they're going to hit the delete button. When it comes to communications uh, in, 20, in a day and age we live in, your website is your heart and soul. It is your foundation to all communications. Um, you're looking at even like... Uh, your, your social media is off of it. That is where you put pretty much everything you want the public to know. It's on your website. So without a functioning website, we're pretty hamstrung right now with what communications we can do. Um, so uh, Assistant Minister Ike went out, got, uh, reached out to a, a number of website companies, pretty much kind of we call it the big three when it comes to governmental websites. That's Keytalis, who we currently have, uh, Granicus, and Civic Plus. Spoke with all of them, got uh, quotes from all of them of what they can offer the city. Uh, we brought that before the technology committee. All the information was in your packet. Brought before the technology committee on October 18th. Worked it through with them. And they have, uh, they made three recommendations for you that are in the packet tonight. Uh, the first is to proceed with updating the website and moving from our old gov office, now known as Kitalis, uh, to a Civic Plus site um, with an expected start date of January 1st, 2023. Uh, and the co total co cost is a yearly renewable contract of $8,792.50. Um, let's look at the cost of that product. Um, as you can see, if when you look in your packet, all the information on Civic Plus, it's a very robust platform. Uh, both Mr. Assistant Mr. Ike and I have experience using Civic Plus. They are they really are kind of the premier um, vendor when it comes to governmental websites. Um, there are a lot of organ uh, governmental organizations throughout Coing County that use Civic Plus, and it really is going to boost our ability to do a lot of things. Um, especially around communications, around in the future when it goes, do, it is doing things like, for example, short-term rentals. Um, there's a lot of different modules you can do. Um, when we're looking to get public input, a lot easier to get public input than just like email us or drop us a note. We can put actual forms on there that all that data gets collected. It's much better for uh, data practices, retaining data. Uh, so that's really the, the technology committees, when they reviewed that, a lot of that was what they decided when the recommendation was to go with Civic Plus. Along with that, um, we are recommending changing our domain name or DNS, uh, the other, otherwise known as our URL. Or our current URL is www.cityofbreezypointmn.us, um, which is currently owned uh, by Gov Office or Kitalis. We're working on trying to get that from them. Um, but even if we can get that from them, we are recommending moving towards a more uniform standard practice for government entities of just www.breezypointmn.gov. It's shorter, it's easier. What we would do is, in, in, especially once the new website goes live, if we would get our old, once we can get access to, and, and hold um, ownership of our old domain, try to get it so that if anyone put in the old domain for at least the next few years or so, they would get automatically rerouted. But then um, breezypointmn.gov would become, once the new website is launched, our, our official domain. And then the 
Um, we talked about we work with Catalyst to acquire that. Um, and then the third recommendation kind of goes in with the first recommendation is that we would also include um, a couple of the items, um, really kind of clarifies what number one is and that, that we would use the ultimate website design um, versus their premium um, with Civic Plus. Uh, we would also get the additional add-ons of Agenda Center that allows us how we create our agendas and makes our agendas a lot, a lot more modern, especially when we're getting out there. Um, we get the RFP and bid module, the mobile text messaging module, and the email subscription module. Again, those are little big communication items to help our, our residents stay informed. So, uh, Mr. Mayor, members of the council, really what we're looking for um, from the council is, um, is a, is a, um, a motion to move forward to uh, execute a contract with Civic Plus to update our website and then also pursue changing our DNS or our domain name to city of breezy uh, to breezypointmn.gov as part of that process. Thank you, Administrator Chansky. Very good update. A uh, lot of good information there. I know I looked it all over. Um, and I, my basic comment is, yeah, we need to get this done like ASAP. That is our lifeline in a heartbeat. So is there any, is there any comments from the council? When the technology committee met, this was a, a no-brainer, especially with the, the communication. We heard it tonight. Communication, yes, communication, communication. Oh. This will allow others to sub subscribe, if you would, and, and to, a, to their heart's content and get that information. Mm -hmm. So yeah. um, th this made me in favor of it, especially after our open our quorum, uh, forum, <coughs> open forum, um, yep. and communication was brought up. Yeah, right with that. absolutely. Because then we would have the ability to do subscriptions, like Mike was saying. Yeah. Uh, if a person wanted to have a subscription saying uh, city council updates, notices, you know, notices, right. you know, mm -hmm. they'll uh, get those. They'll, they'll be able to get those. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think that's great. It could be right. easily managed. Motion. Go so moved. I have a motion from Council Member Bakken. Second. Uh, I have a second from Councilmember Maroney to allow the staff to negotiate and execute a contract with Civic Plus uh, to work on getting our new uh, website re rebuilt. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? A motion carries. Just a quick comment in case yes. David didn't allude to it. This does take time. Oh, yeah. To do. Yes. So this is till January, it, January 1st to get it done. That's, Since we didn't say what year, yes. <laughs> yes. It's, it's a qualified yes. Yeah, it's a, well it is, it, is, it is a lengthy process is. that we will be uh, going through. Yeah, so. yeah because it's, we're going to build it from ground up. So we, it takes we can get time. the contract started January 1st, 2023. However, it is going to take time to develop the website and get it all set up so that we can actually go live with it. Uh, you know, online. Just a question. When we say we're, we're setting it up, it's... it's he, uh, Civic Plus yeah. is okay, setting it up. Yeah. Yeah. Civic, Civic Plus members. is setting it up with right. our guidance. Yep. Yeah, perfect. Yes. Yep. No. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Excellent. Thank you. All right, moving on. 6C, set special meeting to canvas general election results and conduct city administrator review. You want to give us a little, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory, yeah. but you want to give us a Yeah, pretty self-explanatory. Yeah. State statute yep. requires that uh, within a week of a general, of an election, or a general election, the city council uh, must canvas and certify the results for the local election. Um, so that needs to be taking place. So the election is tomorrow. The, the, the canvas, what they call the canvas board, the canvas needs to be done between November 14th and November 18th, um, which means it will require the council to set a special meeting to do that. Um, as you do not have a meeting scheduled for next week. Um, when conducting it, it's really, it's up to, as it's a special meeting, you can hold that meeting whenever you want it to be held, whenever it works best for you. Yeah. Um, our only recommendation is not to hold it November, the morning of November 14th, because we actually won't be getting our actual results and information from the county until that morning. And then the morning of the 15th, uh, we'll be, at least I and probably Assistant Administrator Eric will be down at Crow Wing County. Right. Um, so we'd request not at that time, but pretty much any other time during the week, if you want to do it in the morning, in the afternoon, at night, it is up to you as a council to figure out when you want to do that. The other thing was just that, again, per my employment contract, um, I am do a six month review. I hit six months of employment on October 24th. Um, and so that can really happen, should happen anytime in the next month. 
Um, so you can choose if you want to, as long as you're having a special meeting, to conduct that review at that special meeting, or you can choose to do that in December. I just kind of wanted to leave you that, that option of when you wanted to do that meeting. If you did want to do it at the special meeting, we would just need to notify because of the special meeting that that is going to be part of the special meeting. Yes, absolutely. All right, so we hear the, the guidelines. Um, pleasure to the council at this point. Let's take a look at the date for the canvassing first, and then we can address the administrator review. Does the 16th work for everybody? That's a Wednesday. I'm going to be out of town, but okay. so that doesn't work for me at all. So Okay. W will you be back in town by the 18th? No, I won't be back until the uh, till after Thanksgiving. So then you just you won't yep. be able to attend. Right, so okay. you know, I won't be able to make it for the okay. canvassing board. All right. So that then helps me answer the other part. But let's talk about Wednesday. Does that work for you, Michael, or no? What time? Well, see, and that's that's what we have to discuss, too. I mean... How about you, Rebecca, first before I say anything more? That's Wednesday? A, that's a time thing for me as well. Um, I obviously have work, and then I have a doctor's appointment that day too. So So now we're moving to the 17th, the Thursday. Does that get any better for everybody? We know the answer from Tom, so I won't ask. That's impossible. What works better for you? The 17th, okay. We got to do it by the 18th. So, <laughs> Tom, you're out for the 14th as well. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Just, I just wanted to ask. Yeah. I will. Yep. I'll be out of town the 14th through the 25th. Yeah. Does I mean, at night always works for me too. I mean, if we want to do it at night, I don't know that we want to, we but do it because it's not going to take very long. Right. I mean, it's going to be a very short meeting. So, very short. Ten minute meeting. Yeah, ten. Max. Max. Most. Yeah, at most. I five would work for me. Michael, I see you hesitating over there. I'd make it work. I got conferences for my little one, so Is that on the seventeenth? That's on the seventeenth. Could we do three thirty? Uh, see. I gotta look at you guys because whatever you guys come up with, I'll be here. So <laughs> three thirty is gonna be tough, it. Yeah, for a work meeting, but I could do like 18th, I'm wide open. But 12, 31, 2. You said Friday the 18th would Friday work? Friday the 18th would work wide, but I don't know if it worked for Mr. Bakken. Friday the 18th, Council Member Bakken. Anything there? Yay or nay? <laughs> okay, does the 18th work better for uh, you? Yeah, what time? I'm open. Mr. Mayor, on the 18th, oh. I am scheduled to be in the Staples for a training. Hit However, back. Back Administrator Ike and a Deputy Clerk, Runksmeyer, can do it if you want yeah. to meet that morning. I think so. we want to do your review, though, don't we? Well, no, because oh. Tom's not going to be here. And oh, I we have to wait for Tom. For the I prefer so to be. we're automatically, the review is now moved to December. So that decision has been made. Okay. Sorry, I missed that. Be here and he, I want him here. So I just, okay. I just want to let you know, if you do like Friday and you choose the morning, you're absolutely free to do that. We have staff who will help you with that. I just will not be here that All morning. Right, we're going we're gonna to step back. I'm going to step back to Thursday. We're going to make Thursday work. Okay. Okay. You said you have your conferences? Yeah. And you what can't time, do it what, earlier. Four? Than, can you, yeah, four. Can, can, four? Four. Four? Four p.m. Going four? Four once? Going four? Four o'clock it is. Thursday four p.m. the 17th. 17th. Okay, November 17th, 4 p.m. We'll have the special meeting for the canvassing. Well, here, 405. Can I get a? Can I get that in a motion? <laughs> I will. Please, Mr. I'll Mayor. make a motion. Okay, so we need to have a motion for that. I'll make a motion for canvassing the election on Thursday, the 17th, at 4 p.m. Okay, I have a motion from Councilmember Roney. I have a second from Councilmember Bach. And all those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed. Abstentions. Motion carries. Uh, city administrator's review will be done in December's council meeting. That way the entire council will be here for that. Okay. And I, I, I think that's very important that you're here, Tom. So I want you here for that. Okay. Um, all right. So moving on, item seven, administrator updates. Administrator Chansky, what do well, you got for us? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I just feel like he's got one thing tonight. Okay. Um, I think it's the most important thing we've got tonight. Is Tomorrow is the general election. Yes. Um, as uh, the city clerk and therefore your chief election official, we are ready. Uh, we've got a great crew of election judges that will be serving tomorrow throughout the day. We've got two different crews uh, throughout the day. Um, and I'm confident that our election will be efficient, it will be fair, and it will be accurate. 
Um, with that being said, we do, we do um, ask that people be patient with us tomorrow. Absolutely. Polls are open from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. Uh, anyone who is eligible to vote in the city of Breezy Point is welcome to come at any time during that window. Um, we just want to let people know that we are expecting potentially upwards of 1,800 voters coming through this building tomorrow. Yep. Um, so when you come, there may be a line. Um, we just, again, ask you to wait patiently. We are going to try to uh, process everyone as quickly and efficiently as possible and give everyone their equal and fair time to vote. So we just wanted to put it out there um, that we are going to be busy tomorrow. Um, but we're, you know, excited. Election time is exciting around here. I think pretty much everyone in City Hall will be here by 7.30 tomorrow morning. Um, we have a whole election crew that's showing up at 6. I'll be here at 5.30. So all right. um, we're looking forward to having a good day tomorrow. And that's all I have, Mr. Mayor. Yep. Sounds good. I thank you for that update. I do want to take this time as the mayor to wish everybody who's running, whether it being a local, whether it being a state, a city, county, federal, luck tomorrow. I wish you all well in your, as you run for your positions. I hope it goes well. And uh, with that, one, uh, one, one thing. Yes. Um, it, David, uh, one of the things that came up uh, at the planning and zoning meeting was that you had just attended the committee of the whole talking about short term rentals, which was after our uh, mm -hmm. city council meeting. So maybe you could update them the city council as to what came about during that committee of the whole oh, and the, the next committee of the whole mm -hmm. uh, that's going to be uh, going on. Yeah, so the, so the, uh, the Crowing County Board met twice to discuss short-term rentals last month at both their meeting on October 11th and their meeting on October 25th. Uh, on October 11th, they had a, some ordinance amendments. Again, you might remember you directed me to go speak at the public hearing to that. You also issued a letter that the mayor signed regarding comments on that. Um, at that time, the county attorney requested that the county board give him and his staff some time to review things. Uh, they came back um, and reconvened that topic on the 25th. And after some discussion, really what it came down to is they have found out that um, not all the cities on, um, in, in Crow Wing County kind of on board or um, are really happy to where their ordinance has come out. Um, they weren't either, they weren't really in, even informed when the ordinance took effect or they thought the ordinance was gonna do one thing and it's then another. Um, the biggest thing is that there's kind of a mixed bag um, as to what each city thinks. Um, you know, from Breezy Point stance of kind of Crow Wing County, we wanna be a partner, but we don't want, we, we want to regulate it and want you just to partner with us to other cities saying, you know, Crowing County, we want you to regulate it for us, but here are the, all the things that we want, we want you to do differently. Um, and then other cities saying, we just don't care. Um, and they have the townships in between. So really where the county is at is looking at right now, their short term rental, um, it's done under the, actually their public health authority and that's how they can impose it on the entire county. So one thing they're gonna be looking at is maybe moving it to strictly their zoning authority, which means it would take them out of all cities. Um, and what are the impacts of that? And when you're gonna have some cities that do want the county to enforce it for them. So what they have done is they've invited all the cities primarily, but also townships as well, to come to the committee of the whole meeting on the 15th um, to come and just kind of have a, round, have a discussion as to those issues and then they'll decide what they want to do from there. So that's kind of where we're at with the county. Okay. Yep. So, so I mean, it, uh, the bottom line is we're not done with this yet. Oh no. You know, so this is going to be. <laughs> I told you earlier, I said this yeah. is going to keep going. So as much as we don't want it to, it's going to keep going. So um, yeah, no, I agree. And I will, I will just let the council know that I did receive a call from our commissioner, our county commissioner, Bill Brecken, uh, and he talked to me in particular about David coming and making comments to the county board. Um, and he wanted to know our reasons why. And so I told him and I let him know it and I made it very clear because he, <laughs> his comment to me was that some of the county board members were thought that our stuff was a little strong. And I said, well, there's a reason for that. And so I explained it to him and once, huh? Well, 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 we took care of it. At the, at, the end of the, at the end of the day, he understood where we were at. Right. He understand our position. He knew we were, why we were doing what we were doing. And I just made it clear to him yeah. that if he'd have, maybe they'd have come to the cities to start with, 
Some yeah. of this could have been avoided. But anyway, we could go on and on and on about it. So. Right. And, and as far as, you know, when we're getting down to the communication thing, we've been talking about this at city council meetings. And, you know, and I'm not going to criticize the paper, but you only have so many column inches that you can put in. Okay. And part of that is a lot of this discussion gets chopped because the paper has a limitation as to what they can say. So, I mean, and not everybody reads the paper. Oh, so. they don't. So. All right. I know. With that, I'm going to call this, mo this uh, meeting to adjourn. Do I have a motion I'll to move. adjourn? Move. I have a motion from Councilmember Maroney. Do I have a second? Second from Councilmember Bach. And all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed. We're out of here. Abstentions. Motion carries. This meeting is adjourned.